so we are fixing the Windows Security Center service can't be started issue uh, several users have reported that their Windows Security Center was turned off without their consent and they were struggling to turn it back on when they opened the Security Center and tried to uh, turn it on they received this particular message on the screen that the Security Center service can't be started this is not necessarily an act of malicious application because a lot of things may affect Windows services to misbehave. However, this also be a red alarm, so make sure you fix the solution as soon as possible by following the instruction we are going to show you. Uh, the first solution is to fix the problem related to the services. If you are using Windows older than Windows 10, the easiest way for you to access services is to click on start button and navigate to run dialog or press windows and R key to bring up the run dialog type services dot msc here and press enter this will work for all flavors of windows so we um, I'm going to skip the windows 10 or windows 8 part just open the run dialog type services.msc and you will get to services window um, here um, we need to locate security center service let's press s here it is it says security center service If you are using Windows 10, it is necessary to mention that here. And uh, when you open Task Manager and go to Services, this service will be under Security Health Service name, while its actual name is uh, Security Center. So don't get confused with that. Now right click on the Security Center service and click on Properties. Here is the service. Right click on it, click on Properties. We need to set it to automatic or uh, automatic delayed start. If it is stopped or if you have anything else selected, make it to automatic delayed start. And if it is not running, then you'll have to click on start to run the service. Now the service should get started and you won't have any problems dealing with it in the future. However, you may receive message when you click on start that windows cannot start the security um, center service on local computer error code 1079 the account specified for the service differs from the account specified for other services running in the same process if you get to this error just open the properties of the security center service again navigate to logon and click on browse button browse to here and click on browse if you have any administrative account uh, type that administrative accounts name and click on check names provide the password that you have and click on apply and click OK this should be an administrative account once you are done close this window and uh, navigate to security center properties and click start and close everything else and check if the service is running if you still notice certain issues open this services window again and repeat the same step for the R, uh, remote procedure call RPC ser uh, service this one and then same goes for windows management instrument this one and make sure these are started and that their startup type is set on automatic our second solution is to fix the registry um, we press windows and R key type reg edit and hit enter click on yes if you get a USC prompt
Now you need to make sure that you're logged in with an with an administrative account, and uh, if if it asks you to provide some sort of credentials, make sure you provide administrative credentials on the USC prompt screen. Uh, when you are in registry, first step to do is to export the registry and take a backup. Export range should be set to all. and take a backup it might take some moments to take backup let's wait for it okay so the backup is done so now we can go to local machine let's uh, navigate to local machine and then go to system and system we go current control set and then we go to services in services we go to WSCSVC let's press W WS CS VC now right click on this and select delete and click on yes when you are prompted once done let's open a notepad click on press windows and R press uh, type in notepad and click on OK the text is given in the article we have shared in the description of this video let me copy the text from the article and paste it here Okay, so the text is copied and um, let me just make sure that we got everything in here. Okay, now let's click on file and select save as. Select all files from here and type any name that is suitable. Dot R E G and click on save. Now close the notepad file, click on file and click on import. Remember the name of the file that we saved earlier. Click on the file that we saved and click on open. It will tell you that the keys and values contained in this file have been successfully imported. Okay, and now we need to restart computer and then check if the services are running fine. So let's restart the computer. So once your system restarts, check for the services if they are working fine now. If not, the third solution is to repair WMI repository. Open a command prompt by clicking on start menu and typing command prompt and then select to run as administrator. Uh, right click, we can in Windows 10 or Windows 8, we can right click and then select uh, command prompt admin here. If not, just click on start menu, search for the command prompt. The results right click on it and then click on run as administrator click on yes now we need to type w i n m g m t forward space forward slash 
verify repository and hit enter some kind of spelling mistake I guess yep I forgot to insert a forward slash okay now if you receive a WMI repository is consistent message there should be nothing to worry about um, and on the other hand if you receive a WMI repository is inconsistent message there is needed something wrong there is indeed something wrong with, the, with it and fixing it may solve your issue and in order to fix it uh, we need to execute WIN MGMT space forward slash S A L V A G E R E P O S I T O R Y salvage repository and hit enter with this command uh, once it is done just restart your computer and then check the security center if the issue still persists our fourth solution is to running several error scanning tools uh, there are a couple of really helpful tools which can assist you with solving issues like this one system file checker is a tool which can scan your hard drive for missing or broken system files and it can replace and fix them automatically click on start menu again and type command prompt right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator click on yes for the USC prompt type sfc space forward slash scan now hit enter and then wait for the scanner to finish and check the log in order to see if it is located uh, any errors regarding your system then there's a command which is DISM um, you can use that to fix the issues the command is DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup hyphen image space forward slash restore health hit enter and then allow the tool some time and wait for it to finish before closing command prompt and once it is done restart your computer and check if the issue is resolved so the next solution that we have is uh, issues with several services including security center service uh, may occur if the service was not configured to run as a local service and it runs independently and uh, fixing this is fairly easy and it requires some knowledge from uh, our very first solution that we uh, that we have shared in this video um, let's go to in services uh, right click on security center and click on properties and click on log on and make sure that it is running on um, local service um, Now repeat the same for another service called Windows Management Instrumentation Service. Restart your computer and check if that resolves the issue. Um, the next solution and the last one that we have is to um, scan your system for malware. The solution from uh, the, the solutions that we have shown till now were all related to fixing things which were wrong with your system. Um, this the solution will scan your computer for the malwares, uh, download malware bytes, uh, the anti malware from their official site. Uh, the link is shared in this video's description. Download the malware bytes and install it. Once installed, uh, we have that installed already in here. Uh, run the program and then scan your computer from malware bytes. If you found if it found any issue, just fix them, and then restart your computer. Once done, check if your issue is resolved or not. After scanning with malware bytes, uh, it is advisable to use other free scanning tools such as Microsoft Security Essentials or Hitman Pro uh, softwares. Uh, so I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe our channel.